Hi students, welcome to Evershine Coaching Center. Myself, Shah Faisal sir here. Dear students, today we are going to solve the problem of class 10th mathematics arithmetic progression. Okay. Uh, see children, here the question has been asked for you to solve. Let me first read the question. Find the 11th term from the last term of the AP 10, 7, 4 and so on and the last term is minus 62. Here the question is asking for you people find the 11th term. We have to find the 11th term but from where? We have to find the 11th term from the last term. From We have to come, we, always we used to go from 10, 7, 4 right, from left to right we goes. But here they are asking you to solve the problem from right to left side. Understood? आपको right side से left side को आना है. अब हमें जो भी problem सब तक हम जो solve कर रहे थे, 10 से हम गुजर रहे थे. मतलब कि 10, 7, 4, we are just moving in this, in this side. But now we have to solve the problem from the last term. Okay. See children, uh, here we have to find the 11th term from the last term it seems. Uh, not an issue. Uh, let me solve this problem. First let me write the sequence given data. What is the given data? That is 10, 7, 4 and so on and the last term is minus 62 ok uh, children uh, have you learned the method that is nothing but can you find the next term and previous term it means that if you want to find the succeeding term and the preceding term I hope you know this logic a n plus 1 can be written as a n plus d ok a n plus 1 a n plus d a n minus 1 is equals to a n minus d. So, what is this? See children. a n plus 1, can you see this? a n plus 1 means you are finding the next term. nth term is the nth term is the last term, no? From that you are finding the next term. Then you have to add common difference. One term is there. If you want to find a previous term, then you should do a n minus d. Got it? If you want to find the next term, then you should do a n plus d. If you want to find the previous term, then you should do a n minus d. That is called as succeeding term, preceding term. Preceding means previous term, succeeding means next term. But here, you can see we have a last term here minus 62. I want one more number before minus 62 what it comes. Okay. If you want to find the previous term, first you need to find the common difference, right? Yes. So, according to this given statement, what is the first term? First term is 10. What is the common difference if you are taking from left to right that is a2 minus a1. What is second term? 7 minus first term is 10. 7 minus 10 is minus 3 that is the common difference. Correct? Can you see? In 7 we cannot subtract 10 so write minus 10 minus 7 is 3. Got it? Now uh, let me to put one working column here. One working column. Now I want the term before minus 62. I want one term at least before minus 62 means what we are finding the previous term we I want the previous term right that is minus 62 if you as I have said you if you want to find the previous term then you have to use the condition a n minus 1 is equals to a n minus d okay according to this what is the nth term nth term is minus 62 minus what is the common difference common difference is minus 3 that is minus 62 minus into minus is plus 3. In 3 can you subtract 62? No. No means minus. 62 minus 3 is how much? 59. Correct no children? 59. So can we write one more new statement here? Okay, shall we write one more new statement? What is the new statement now? 10, 7, 4 and so on comma minus 59 comma minus 62 it is our new sequence correct no minus 59 minus 62 understood now we have to find the uh, 11th term from the last term so can we write the statement like this therefore now we can write here therefore to find the 11th term to find the 11th term from the last term to find the 11th term from the last term so shall we write the sequence in opposite order that is minus 62 minus 59 and so on 4 
then 7 and then 10 can we write like this can we write like this see children i am showing you this shortcut method how to solve this problem okay now now shall we write here like eleventh term is equals to question mark we have to find the eleventh term what is the first term now according to this minus 62 is the first term right and what is the common difference that is a2 minus a1 what is the second term minus 59 minus first term is minus 62 so we write in bracket minus 62 then minus 59 minus into minus is plus 62 so 62 minus 59 is 3 can you see this uh, difference children can you see the difference if you come in opposite order it becomes plus 3 if you go from left to right it is minus 3 if you come from right to left it is plus 3 so common difference is plus 3 and according to this given sequence what is the nth term nth term is 10 can you see this sequence now can you see this yeah according to this nth term is 10 now if you want to find a11 can we use an formula an is equals to a plus of n minus 1 into d okay so what is the nth term nth term is 10 that is equals to first term is minus 62 plus n value uh, what is the n Do you, uh, n value is sorry we have to find 11th term right sorry uh, let it be a n is equals to 10 only a nth term is 10 uh, what is the value of n we need to find mm, just a minute what we are finding now we are finding the 11th term right yeah one minute a n place you write as 11 n place you write is as 11 no no need of n no need to use a n here okay a 11 we are finding no directly you write a 11 is equals to a plus n is 11 11 minus 1 is 10 d got it so what is the first term first term is minus 62 plus 10 into what is the common difference common difference is 3 got it then minus 62 plus into plus is plus 10 3 is a 30 got it in 30 can you subtract 62 no no means minus then you should do 62 minus 30 to 6 minus 3 is 3 that's nothing but minus 32 got it sir what about this uh, a and 10 no it is not required okay just we have to write a uh, just we have to write that value that's it that's more than sufficient so what is the 11th term we got the answer so 11th term is minus 32 are you getting children did you understood these steps so this is a shortcut method actually we have one more method to solve the same problem we have one more method to solve the same problem i'll show even that method got it or you can use even this method also to solve this problem so what was the given sequence 10 7 4 and so on minus 62 correct now according to this first you find how many number of terms are there total total from 10 to minus 62 how many number of terms are there first we have to check if you follow this method first term is 10 common difference is a2 minus a1 that is 7 minus 4 that is minus 3 common difference and the nth term is minus 62 first you find total number of terms n value so we have the formula a n is equals to a plus of n minus 1 into d right so what is the nth term nth term is minus 62 that is equals to first term is 10 plus n value we doesn't know minus 1 common difference is minus 3 then minus 62 is equals to 10 minus into plus minus 3 into n is 3 n minus into minus plus 3 ones are 3 then minus 62 equals 10 plus 3 is 13 minus 3n okay since n value is negative we want positive n so we bring this minus 3n to the lhs side it become plus 3n 13 minus 62 come this side it becomes plus 62 are you getting yeah now 3n is equals to 13 plus 62 how much children 13 plus 62 3 plus 2 is 5 that is 75 so what is the value of n the value of n is 75 by 3 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 remainder 1 3 fives are 15 so therefore the value of n is 25 
the value of n is what 25 now we can say that therefore there are 25 terms therefore there are 25 25 terms in the given ap in the given ap what does it mean it means that from 10 7 4 can you see this is first term second term first term second term third term like that totally we have till minus 62 minus 62 is the 25th term so this is our first term this is second term this is third term similarly minus 62 is the 25th term now we have to find the which term 11th term from minus 62 we need to find the 11th term from minus 62 correct no so minus 62 is first term before this one more term will come second term third term fourth term fifth term six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have to find one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so this is the eleventh term this is the eleventh term you no need to do these all circles in your paper okay just i have shown you the what does it mean we have to find that shaded region part now okay now here we got to know we got to know totally we have 25 terms understood uh, but which term we want we want the 11th term right therefore now we can say the 11th term the 11th term from the last term 11th term from the last term will be which term will be 15th term will be 15th term understood are you getting children's so which is the 11th term from the last term i mean from the total 25 terms 25 minus 11 you do 5 minus 1 4 2 minus 1 is 1 that is 14 after 14 which number will become 15 so this term is the 11th term you do 25 minus 11 because we have to find the 11th term no 25 minus 11 you do you get 14 so after 14 which number is there see 14 is this means example if you calculate any numbers it is 0 1 2 3 you calculate right so similarly here in place of 0 we get 14 14 is nothing but 0 no this is our 15th term this is our 11th term if we calculate from here from the 25th term if you come towards left side so this term is our 11th term understood no need to get confused children got it understood i have shown you the various methods how to do it now what we have to find the 11th term now from the last term that is uh, a 15 can be written as a plus 14 d a 15 means n minus 1 into d 15 minus 1 is 14 so what is the first term first term is 10 right plus 14 into what is the common difference is minus 3 then 10 plus into minus minus 14 3 is a 40 10 minus 42 is minus 32 so 15th term that is minus 32 are you getting children so which term is the uh, what is the value of the 11th term from the last term that is minus 32 so that is our final answer i hope you have understood both the cases i have solved so whichever the method is simple and easy for you if you want you can convert last term as first term and you can do directly if not you can find total number of terms from the total number of terms you can find which is the 11th term okay after that by taking that into consideration you can solve the problem i hope you have understood this problem right wish you all the best of luck if you like this video click the like button and in the below description comment box you can just comment over there how was this class how was this session and still if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel evershine coaching groups do subscribe it and click the bell icon and share this video as much as possible for others okay and uh, we have admissions are opened in our institute for the offline classes regular classes from class 6 to class 12 if any students are interested you can just uh, see the, the below description in that we have given all the details you can contact us thank you keep watching bye bye